This past summer, the United Nations passed a treaty to prohibit nuclear weapons. All nuclear states and NATO members, including Canada, refused to take part in any of those negotiations. A perspective on that now from a former Canadian senator and longtime peace activist. Douglas Roche is also a former Canadian ambassador for disarmament and an honorary citizen of Hiroshima. He's in Edmonton. In the current environment, Canada has turned its back on the majority world opinion trying to move forward. And this humanitarian movement that gave birth to the new treaty on uh, the prohibition of nuclear weapons is a major step forward for humanity. It doesn't eliminate nuclear weapons, but it sets the world on a course toward uh, negotiations for their elimination. And Canada uh, should be part of that movement. Justin Trudeau uh, is, uh, I'm willing to give him the benefit of, of the doubt that he's just not getting the advice that he needs to get. And uh, if he would just look at the pages in his own library, he'd see what his own father did 30 years ago in going around the world on a peace mission to try to get the major powers to to uh, back away from the nuclear arms race. I mean, Pierre Trudeau took a, a courageous stand on behalf of nuclear disarmament, and that is uh, so far lacking in his son. Nuclear weapons are the only weapons of mass destruction that are not prohibited by a global treaty. I mean, it's hard to figure out. Uh, biological weapons are prohibited by a global treaty. Chemical weapons are prohibited by a global treaty, but nuclear weapons are not. And they are the worst form of all. We've seen an immense spread of uh, the recognition of human rights. And we can't have that in, in a world in which we have weapons, the, you know, the, the, the ultimate evil, so to speak, of, 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 of mass destruction. It's incompatible. And so this is a, uh, this is a moral, a humanitarian issue, and I, I felt that strongly since uh, my first visit to Hiroshima 